Want to see the Avengers but don't want to face the crowds? Well, no problem. Just stream it at home if you're a millionaire. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and yep, it's still Avengers Weekend. I am actually, when you see this video, I will be in the theaters right now seeing Avengers Endgame in IMAX 3D. This was recorded in advance. But hey, you know what? If I were a millionaire, I would actually have the option to stream the movie at home on this TV where the beautiful rainy um, backdrop is that, you know, for some reason is very comforting to me to listen to. Well, if I were a millionaire, I could be watching that movie right now because there is a new service that lets the super rich stream movies still in theaters to their penthouses. And before we actually talk about this, you know what this kind of reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of a movie service that I believe Sean Parker of Napster and Facebook fame, he once tried to do a service where you could stream brand new release movies at home for about 50 to 200 dollars and you could watch the movie for like 24 hours as many times as you want just pay 50 200 dollars and you could do that well of course the theaters you know push back quite a bit on that because you know they like that exclusive window but also if you have something like that then you might throw like parties at home and a bunch of people get together in one house and maybe split the money on paying 50 to 200 dollars to see a movie at home or if you had the movie for like 24 hours, maybe you could actually start charging people to see the movie at your home. Anyway, it didn't really go anywhere, but now they're trying it again and it's got a few changes. So it says, if you were looking for another reason to hate the rich, Red Carpet Home Cinema, I guess that's what the company is called, is here to help out. For $1,500 to $3,000 per film, and I, by the way, suspect the Avengers might cost just a teensy bit more, the company will let you rent first-run films from the comfort of your tricked-out mansion. But not just anyone can sign up for this anti-movie pass service. To qualify, you have to pass through a strict verification process. The New York Times reports the applicants have to own a credit card with a limit of at least 50000 and those approved must then buy and install a 15000 streaming box that comes with piracy protections. Furthermore, Red Carpet Home Cinema isn't available to just any old millionaire. Right now, the service is only available in Los Angeles and New York. The company's FAQ site says it will expand to additional markets later, but for now, it's our intent to limit memberships in 2019. Now, let's take a look at the FAQ page. This is kind of interesting. So here's Red Carpet Home Media. Question, how is this different than other services that offer movies for downloading and streaming? Red Carpet Cinema is a luxury service that provides access to new movies as they are released. Is Red Carpet Home Cinema available to everyone? Our service launched in New York, Los Angeles, um, and is available in all major cities. So anyway, here's a phone number. Here's an email address. Um, so here, so yeah, here's the thing. No movie will be priced below $500. <laughs> you know, uh, as much as I would love to rent one of these movies and do a review of it for the site, uh, this uh, YouTube channel, I should say. Uh, I don't think the tax write-off is worth that. So let's go back. Let's go back to here. Um, so current films like Shazam and Pet Cemetery, as well as upcoming features like Rocket Man and Detective Pikachu, are among those advertised on the company's site. This isn't a novel idea. Oh, there it is. Sean Parker of Napster Facebook pitched his version of a home video service called Screening Room a few years ago and sought to offer movies at home for $50 each. Likewise, Prima Cinema offered a service in 2013 that required you to install a $35,000 box for a $500 movie rental. It's almost kind of like when VHSs first came out, because I know some of you might think this is crazy, but when the VHS tape first came out, to buy a VHS, it was like $75 to $150 just to buy it. Hence, that's why Blockbuster and Hollywood Video became such big things, because it was way cheaper to rent the movies than it was to buy them. And then the studios made a deal with Blockbuster so that they could share in the rental fees, and it ended up making a lot of money for everyone. Um, the main difference this time around is that Red Carpet is founded by two rich businessmen with no desire to disrupt a notoriously rigid industry. Fred Rosen, a former Ticketmaster president and CEO, and Dan Fellman, one of Hollywood's most experienced film distribution executives, they're also quite ambivalent when it comes to how many millionaires they need to actually sign up for the service. In an interview with the New York Times, Rosen said the company could make $300 million annually if as few as 4,000 customers signed up. 
Quote, we're a niche offering. I'm too old for disruption, but even if the studio makes 25 million to 40 million annually from us, that's found money, which is true. It ab absolutely is. Now, I do love this final paragraph, which definitely blurs the, uh, blurs the line between journalism and opinion piece, where it says, cool, thanks rich people for prioritizing other rich people for a service literally everyone would want. Movie theater admissions dipped to 1.3 billion in 2017, the lowest number since 1995. That number bounced back in a bit in 2018 to 1.3 billion, but increased tickets, prices, and streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime continue to chip away at normal people's incentive to haul their butts out to the theater. Meanwhile, Movie Pass and Mia and other theater-owned subscription passes aimed at the rest of us normals continue to flail. Oh yeah, we, we just did a story about Cinemia. That's such a sad story. So anyway, um, I guess this is what a normal setup for this thing would look like. And uh, yeah, it looks nice. Um, and you know, yeah, if I were rich, if I, if I could afford that from my backyard, for my pool, then yeah, I could probably afford to do this. Um, I still like going to the movie theater, so I mean, when you look at the screen, look, it's just the screen. Where is the surround sound? Where is the comfortable seats? Like, you know, I, I just, where's, where's the 3D? Where's the immersion? I'm going to go see Avengers Endgame in IMAX 3D today, and I'm doing it for a very specific reason. IMAX 3D as well as 4DX, and even just a regular movie theater that's got a fairly big screen and comfy chairs is still a much better experience than the convenience of staying at home. Now, I'm a rare person where I really care about the experience. That's why I still buy discs. That's why on my Entrepreneur Vlogs channel, which you can subscribe to, by the way, I'm showing all of these discs I buy because they are of the highest quality and I want to watch this stuff in the highest quality. Also, I like building my collection and I want to keep, you know, I want to own my stuff. James L. Brooks has not taken away the Michael Jackson Simpsons episode from me. And, well, Disney can't pretend the crows in Dumbo don't exist because I have them on disc. But anyway, this is a interesting idea. I would be very curious to see how much traction this gains. Um, because niche products, uh, the funny thing about niche products is that they could actually be very successful in their own right. But the movie industry isn't so much interested in niche products they want profit uh the criterion collection is a rare exception where they do delve in niche products and that's why they are very popular but for the most part if you're niche they don't want anything to do with you um i, I am so be gonna be curious what happens to hollywood when the marvel movies start failing i kind of suspect that after endgame we're gonna start getting tired of them but uh that's just my opinion. A little quick one for you for Saturday. What do you folks think? If you had the money, um, is red carpet home cinema something you would personally do? I would love to know. So, you know the drill. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as one dollar a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if you are tired of paying more money for gas, check the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back rewards on every gallon of gas you purchase, thus saving you some money, which in these times helps everyone. And check out the aforementioned Printer vlogs for new content coming up every week. And finally, if you want to talk to me, one of your fellow rideshare drivers, or even a fellow cinema enthusiast because they're starting to migrate over to that um, group, uh, check out the Entrepreneur Hangouts. You have to be approved to join, but we've been approving most people. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.